The video of Kawaya's dramatic arrest was captured by a cameraman working for Kampala Best Record TV. It shows men in plain clothes wielding AK-47 rifles trying to subdue a man who is lying on the road. The armed men hit Kawaya with the butts of their guns as he pleads with them not to harm him. <laughs> The armed men ignore the police for mercy and continue to hit Kawaya before bundling him into a waiting minibus. The men are said to be from one of the security agencies, but it's not yet clear exactly which one. While addressing the media on Friday, the country director Interpol Freddy Iga condemned the dehumanizing form of arrest. The act is condemnable. You look at it and you feel disgusted. You, 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 it's not good. It's not. Humanly speaking, it's, it can't, that can't be the modus operandi. Previously, the IGP of Kotho Chola vehemently condemned such actions by police officers against suspects. We decided to find out more about the man being beaten in the video by driving to Yusuf Kawaya's home in Bolamu village in Gayaza. Kawaya's house was locked. We learned later that after his family heard of the news of Kawaya's arrest, his three children were taken to the boarding section of a nearby school from where they have been commuting every day. The mother of the children works out of the country. We were shocked by the way he was beaten because I saw the video. He was badly beaten with guns like as if he was a terrorist. Nachitende told NTV that the family had attempted to search for Kawaya in vain. As rumors, they were like, maybe he was taken to Chireka. But as I came this side, I told my sister to go to Chireka to find out. But she told me she was just away. The family is demanding for the immediate release of 43-year-old Kawaya, who is said to be a butcher in the Kampala suburb of Chitintali. If it is, in, it is politics, let the government come out with a clear statement that he's in, in this and this. If it is not politics, the, the real p people that took him, let them tell us what they really want. This is not the first time that the plain clothes men have arrested suspects in a brutal manner. In April this year, plain clothes men arrested Dr. Ismail Kalule, a terrorism suspect, after he was granted bail. In November 2017, Another suspect in the murder of former police spokesperson Andrew Felix Kawesi was arrested by plainclothes men after court had granted him bail. The major question that the seven children of Kawaya are asking is where is their father? And even if they get the answer, they will still have to grapple with the trauma in the future after watching the video of their father being brutalized by the people who are supposed to be protecting him. Sudilbiar Hanga. NTV Bulamu Gayaza.